Hey, this is Jim Graham from the Masculine Journey Podcast, where we explore relationship instead of religion every week. Your chosen Truth Network podcast is starting in just a few seconds. Enjoy it, share it, but most of all, thank you for listening and for choosing the Truth Podcast Network. This is the Truth Network. My voice is weak, friends, but I couldn't pass on the opportunity to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in the presence of one of my heroes. I'm in his office in Tennessee, just outside of Nashville, Jay Seculo. This is not the office you expected, was this it? This is not the, Jay, what is going on here, man? This is the, this is the cool office. This is what my daughter-in-law calls it. This is the office that was, don't make it look like your office in Washington, which it doesn't. So you got the tour. I mean, it's a lot of music memorabilia. I'm a big Beatles fan. I got, uh, Ringo's, part of Ringo's drum kit up there and his signature and, uh, Emerson, Lake and Palmer and all kinds of stuff and a John Lennon lithograph and a couple of, uh, Donald Trump memorabilia too. He's a Jay Secular that's argued how many cases in front of the Supreme Court? 20 now. 20 cases. But many of you are listening to my voice today, which is very weak. Because this, better than it was yesterday. Oh, was a lot bad. better than it was yesterday. A lot better. Because this man of God has fought valiantly for decades for religious freedom, for pro-life. Jay, tell everyone, for those that haven't met you yet and heard you, because I don't know that's very many, but yeah. what is ACLJ? And tell everyone your passion. So you know, we started a long time. We've been doing this for 40 years. I mean... Uh, we started in the 80s, and um, I, mean, I thought about this the other day. Someone said, well, how long have we been arguing cases before the Supreme Court? I said, I argued them in the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, the 2010s, and the 2020s. So a long time. And it started, American Center for Law and Justice originally started out uh, before the actual ACLJ formation. ACLJ technically formed in 1991. Uh, started out as a group called uh, CASE, and it was an acronym for Christian Advocates Serving Evangelism. We did evangelism access cases in the 1980s. My first case at the Supreme Court was the Board of Airport commissioners versus Jews for Jesus. We did a Bible club case for Bible studies in the schools. And that's kind of how it started. And then in about 91, Pat Robertson, uh, Paul Crouch, and some others got together and said, hey, let's start a national, a really national program. And then I have to say, your dad and your uncle came to me uh, five years later, we had just really gotten going and said we need. To, we were in Atlanta, Georgia for an NRB, I think, mm. and um, or maybe it was in maybe it was in Nashville, maybe in Nashville, and said we need to get you on air. And that launched our radio broadcast, which was 1997. Here we are in 2023. Wow. I mean, we've been doing it a long time, and that changed by light years our ability to communicate, but also just get people to know who, yeah. who we do. So we still do. You'd be surprised how many straight religious liberty cases you still have. We I just talked to one of our lawyers upstairs. She was in depositions in Utah this week where because of the, some of the woke culture stuff, we had a parent that complained with good reason that her 15-year-old daughter was required to read a monologue that was, and I'm not a prude, but it was pornographic. I mean, it was obscene. So what she did was she went to the school board meeting and they made her read this and she said, no, I'm not going to read it. And they, you know, give her an F and all the stuff that goes with it. So we filed suit, but she, before we filed suit, she went to the school board meeting, you know, the open community section. Right. She gets to speak for two minutes. So she gets up and goes, my name is so-and-so. And this is what my daughter was required to read in Miss So-and-so's class. And she starts reading it. And within 15 seconds, they say, stop. You cannot use obscenity and pornography and, and uh, profanity in this room. She goes, well, that's great, but that's what my 15-year-old daughter was required to read in the classroom. So we filed a lawsuit. So that, they just did depositions. Uh, I think they finished mm. Friday. So you got those kind of cases, and then we've got all these election cases right now where they're trying to get Trump off the ballot or this one off the ballot. So we've got those. We've got a, a big case. There's a big abortion case at the Supreme Court this term we're involved in. And, but you know what? For most of the cases, it's people you never heard of, and those are the people that – I make the statement now that our, the clients of the American Center for Law and Justice – are able to access the same lawyers that represented the president of the United States. Mm. But that's because of our donors. Yeah. Uh, and we're, we're a faith-led and faith-supported ministry. We've been around for a long, long time. And um, we're expanding. We're about to do a big project in New York City. We bought a building. We're going to have our ACLJ mission to the UN. We got to go to where the, you go where it's dangerous. And the UN can be a kind of a dangerous place. Uh, and, but you got to be there. We're doing a lot of work for Israel right now, of course, with the tragedies going on in, in the war. And, um, it's, it's as, this is the busiest December stew that I can remember 
in my 40 year career of doing this. It's that busy right now. Well, we're, we're recording a special Christmas edition and we may play it at New Year's and other times, but Jay Seculo, Jay Seculo Live, amazing program. Your sons, Logan and Jordan are involved. Yeah, Your whole family's involved. Job. Yeah. We, well, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a family affair in that sense. And, and, uh, Jordan is a lawyer and he's kind of running the day to day operations of the legal side. Logan is a media guy, was since he was a kid. He's running the whole media operation and we're on, of course, your network and many others and we're on social media. And you go to ACLJ.org, you can get all the information. And you went, you know, we gave you a tour of our studios here in Nashville. This is our media center, really. There's eight lawyers operating out of here, but mostly it's media. And the end result of it is that by God's grace, we've been able to accomplish a lot. We, I, I think the best years are ahead, but I think the challenge is for real right now. That's for sure. Talk about faith. You do so much to protect the yeah. faith and yeah. to protect religious yeah. freedom. I yeah. mean, you have fought. I mean, yeah. these cases, it, it swings all ways. We want yeah. everyone to come to America and speak right. freely. You know, oh, yeah, let, yeah, your yeah, marketplace yeah. of ideas. You know, I represent, I, I'm used to make the joke. I represented Jews for Jesus, the International Society of Krishna Consciousness, uh, uh, Lamb's Chapel Church, and the next month I, I represented the uh, De- Democratic National Policy Committee <laughs> because the issue was free speech. Yeah. And if they lose their free speech, well, you know, so they came to us and I said, well, this is kind of risky taking these cases as a Christian group, but our donors understood it. Yeah. They understood the importance of defending free speech. And um, that's still the bulk work of what we do. Talk about your faith, Jay, and how yeah. this is personal to you. This is a mission for well, you. You guys are trying to change lives. Yeah, well, I came from a Jewish background. So I was, right, my parents are Jewish. I was raised Jewish. I am Jewish. I believe Jesus is Messiah. I don't think that's inconsistent. I don't think there's an inconsistency between being Jewish and believing that Jesus is the Messiah. So during the Jesus Revolution, we just had the Jesus, Greg Laurie's movie and all that was going on. Well, around 19, in 1975, that movement hit college campuses in the South. It kind of moved from the West Coast and moved East. And you see a little bit of that in the movie. Movie. And I came to faith uh, in Christ in, in college uh, through the ministry of Jews for Jesus and friends on campus, including my then friend, but now wife, Pam. So that, that ministered to me and witnessed to me. And I, I never saw the inconsistency of being Jewish and a Christian. And to this day, I don't. Mm. So, you know, when I got to represent Israel the first time before the International Criminal Court in 2008, I said, look at the irony of this. Here's this Messianic Jew from, you know, Brooklyn representing the state of Israel in the International Criminal Court in The Hague. And I'm thinking, you think God's got, so I've always learned, what I've learned is don't get in the way of God's plan because you can't even figure out what it is. So, you know, to me, the, the proclamation, at, at bottom line, at the end of the day, it's all about the proclamation yeah. of the gospel. Because with all the stuff going on, the only hope is Jesus. I mean, that's it. Yeah. And when, when it comes to Christians have rights, we are obviously citizens of heaven, but yes. we're, but we're dual but citizens. We're here. We're here. Right. Would you give a word? I mean, you know, the, the, the Marxism, socialism, I mean, people are complaining about how bad things are. Things in our country are really good based on Marxist standards, you know? Well, I mean, they're, 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 they're driving that, listen, you know? They're, they're, they're good based on the beginning of our country. People forget this. Yeah. They say the elections are so contentious now. We don't have duels. That's true. Okay? <laughs> That's I mean, point, yeah. okay? I mean, you know, Alexander <laughs> Hamilton and Aaron Burr, they shot each other in a yeah. duel over yeah. politics. Yeah. So if you read the pamphlets yeah. from, like, the, you know, Madison versus Jefferson and the— you cannot believe what they wrote. So it's now it's just amplified because we have 24-hour media. But listen, I, I try cases all over the world. We have offices in Strasbourg, France. Before the before Russia invaded Ukraine, we had a big operation in Moscow. We have offices in Africa. We have office, an office in Jerusalem. If I had to try a case anywhere in the world, even today, right here in the United States wow. of America. Jay Sekulow, host of Jay Sekulow Live. He's an author. He's a speaker. He's sought after. You see Drummer. him on news. Drummer, tell us about your mu- your passion for music because so, we get out here. You know, Christmas part- time is yeah. the time of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, um, in fact, if you're listening on New Year's Eve or Christmas Day, we are having a concert on the, the 31st of December. If you go to Jay Sekulow on Facebook or Rumble or YouTube or ACLJ, you'll see it fed there. It's a two hours. And the lead singers, one of them is the former uh, music director for DC Talk, Mark Townsend, John Schlitt from, of course, Petra and the rock band Headies, John Elefante from Kansas, who also produced Petra. Keyboardist is the keyboardist from Petra. So it's a great, we have about eight players and we have a, we have a great time. So Great time. He, he, this guy's a renaissance man. He plays the drums, he plays these instruments, and he's, he, he speaks on the air, and he's, I'm going to find something else out you do here in a second when we hang up. But I don't play basketball that well. <laughs> I made a free throw. i got to put did, that on my, on my social. That was pretty awesome. He, yeah, he, we have a, this was a gym, and we kept one aspect of the, although the, the floor is still the, like the floors, basketball yeah. floor. I like the floor. Yeah, so Goodwood it's, floors. yeah, Goodwood floor. You floors. still got a hoop back there, and I had, I, 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 I had to drop a free throw, didn't I? You did, and you got it well, and you did it. The charity strike. Nothing but net. Yeah. 
Hey, how can our people pray for you? ACLJ.org. Okay. Uh, is the best way to stay in touch. Of course, any of the social media apps, we're everywhere there. Pray for, you know what we need right now? Stamina. This is a really busy time. And I can tell going into January, now with January around the corner, yes. January is going to be very busy for us. Usually yeah. January kind of quiet in the courts, not this year. And the peace of Israel. That's a big one. That's going to be, listen, I think, you know, I represent um, the families of the hostages. And it's tough stuff because, you know, a couple of them have, a couple of the ones that were here in the United States, family members are now dead. And um, it, we were just watching a video about this a few minutes ago and as we're putting a documentary together. And I just shelled yeah. the documentary. I said, we can't do it right now. Yeah. So, you know, a little town of Bethlehem, you yeah. know, we, we talk about a way in a manger oh, where it all, where it all got started, you know, with the baby Jesus is, is on, on fire. On fire. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think, prayer. listen, pray for the Middle East, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Yeah. And pray for Jay Sekulow, a man who's reaching many with the good news of Christ. And this whole thing, you know, what I like to say is I like to say, you're a missionary disguised as a lawyer. Yeah, it's a, you know, there's a lot of truth to that, or a lawyer disguised as a missionary. <laughs> so, but, the, you know, look, I think at the end of the day, we're all sinners saved by grace, right? I mean, none of us are worthy. And Lord knows we all make a lot of mistakes. But it's the cross of Christ that's the answer to the problem. That cradle is connected to the cross and the crown and the great redeemer, the great lawyer, our wonderful counselor, is coming back, right? Exactly right. He's exactly right. Your voice is back. I'm glad to see it. Well, All right. Thanks Jay Sekulow is contagious. There God you go. You, All right. Thanks, Stu. ACLJ.org. And what, give, a good, give a good Merry Christmas greeting to everybody. Merry Christmas to all our friends on The Truth. We love you. This is The Truth Network.